Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode of Burning Down the House with Jacob. That's me, I'm Jacob. So today, I'm going to show everyone just a basic recipe. And it's all it is, is chicken noodle soup. Um, not like, you know, some chicken noodle soup that we've grown up with and they've like added stuff. This is how my grandmother taught me to make soup. And so I am going to make chicken noodle soup because winter is coming and everyone really needs good access to a quick and easy chicken noodle soup. So that's what we're going to learn today. So now for the ingredients. For chicken noodle soup, I prefer egg noodles. I think a lot of people might. But I mean, if you want different kinds of noodles, you can have different kinds of noodles. Your basic base for any soup is onions, celery, and carrots. Now I always add in mushrooms because I like mushrooms. Salt for the noodles and to, you know, season to taste. And you're going to need black pepper at the very least. Now I'm going to add in some things like garlic and I will add in extra onion powder and oregano because I love oregano. Chicken broth because you will do the noodles in the broth. and. Of course, chicken breast. Basically, canned chicken works. You can do it with regular chicken by boiling it and then stripping it, but I didn't want to go through all that work. If you just want the quick and easy recipe, buy the stuff in the can, it's just as good. Alrighty, so where we start is with the noodles. You're going to start basically with the broth. I have extra broth over here, more than what I've already shown you. That was just so that you would know for the ingredients. So this here is 48 ounces. You will probably need more if you have a bigger pot. Um, if you want to make smaller amount of this, you can. If you want to make bigger, you can. You can do whatever you like take whatever you like take whatever you like <laughs> That's what my <laughs> so basically you say you got to get this boiling first and then mix your noodles in so while that is going in i know it's going to need another another uh another thing a broth and we're back. Uh, the broth is boiling and we are ready to add our noodles in. Ready. And we set a timer as soon as this starts boiling again, which will should only take a minute. One minute later. And all you really need to do is just after you uh, Put your noodles in, you just follow the directions that are on the package or whatever, you know, however you want your noodles done. Um, in this case, it's uh, about eight minutes uh, for the whole bag, which is what I put in there. So, as soon as it starts boiling again, our countdown can begin. So we are boiling once again, and that means we get to not add stuff just yet. I'm moving this out of the way because I didn't want that over there. So eight minutes from now, this will be done. And then we will really get into the soup making part. This is just the noodles. A few minutes later. Okay, and we're back. Now our eight minutes is done, our noodles are finished. So what we are going to do, we are going to turn down the heat. We are going to add in our carrots and our celery. Just got the carrot. 
our celery. If anybody's wondering, just for this amount, I only did, I think, two or three small stalks of celery and two uh, whole carrots. And I did about half a container of mushrooms. And I did half of a very large onion and uh, just so that everyone is comfortable, these onions are not in any way, shape, or form from coming Taylor from Tether Farms. So mix those in. Also, you can make it without onions. Yeah, you can. if you're worried about the onions, you can totally leave the onions out. But it is, you know, part of the basic stock of and for, uh, soup, and for every soup, really. And also, I should point out, for people that are going to watch this, like, years from now, um, Right now, there's a recent uh, E. coli outbreak for onions at McDonald's, and they're recalling a lot of onions. So, yeah, that's why we're talking about this. <laughs> but also, what you want to add in after you drain the water out of the cans of chicken, you will want to add uh -huh. uh, both cans of chicken to the pot. And I have already added um, some garlic and everything except for the oregano because I usually wait a little bit on the oregano so that it has a heartier flavor to it. And I added salt, pepper, some onion powder, some garlic powder. Not a whole lot, but enough. And we do have mushrooms left. However, if you know about cooking soups and stews and things like that with mushrooms, you have to wait. You can't throw them in right at the beginning because by the end of everything, your mushrooms, they will disintegrate. You will probably not even taste them in there if you do that. That's why you always wait until at least half of your time is still left to go and then throw them in. At this point, you put a lid on and you set a timer for an hour. And now, while this is going, and what do you have it going at right now? It's on low. Okay, so you yeah. have it sitting on low for about an hour. Yeah. Okay. Covered. Now, while this is going, you know, every five, ten minutes, you want to come in to stir it occasionally. Just to make sure you know that everything nothing is sticking or anything like that which it shouldn't be because you do have salt in there so that's all we got for right now and when everything is done um, in 30 minutes we are going to come back and put the mushrooms in and get that all you know mixed together and then at an hour this will be done now I know a lot of you are going to look at your noodle directions and it does say drain your noodles. You're cooking them in the, in the chicken broth. The chicken broth is your broth stock for the soup. So don't drain it. I know probably a lot of you are going to be like, well, that's kind of obvious. Well, it, you would think so. But I just don't want anybody, you know, following their directions to the letter and then pouring out all of their broth and then going, how do I have soup with no liquid? What would you do with a brain if you had one? Well, just don't drain your broth. Trust don't me, drain, people, yeah. people, have, people are not the smartest these days, so they'll when, do that. When your noodles are done, and you know, after however much time that they need to, to boil, when they're done, you just don't drain them. You don't, you don't pour them in anywhere, you don't strain them, nothing. You just, you leave the broth and the noodles together. A few minutes later. Okay, everyone. Uh, if you remember what I said about the mushrooms, adding them in at about half time. It's right at 30 minutes right now that uh, this has been going. So, we are adding our mushrooms in. And a few little carrot and celery pieces that are still there. 
And we're just going to mix all this together so that the mushrooms will be in the broth of other ways. Now, if you find that after adding all of these things, that your all of your noodles and vegetables are like way up at the top and you have like hardly any broth left, you can add broth. It is okay. Not a problem. So then, also, I am going to add my oregano because I love oregano. I know everybody's thinking, why do you put oregano in with your soup? Well, I like it. It's good. If he could eat oregano by itself, he would. <laughs> Just about, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, now that's done. And we have 30 more minutes to wait before this is all done. And then we can get Michael in here to taste test it. So we'll see you in about half an hour. A few minutes later. Hello, what kind of soup is this? This is chicken noodle soup. Ooh. Chicken noodle soup for the chicken chat guy. <laughs> oh, Shameless really? plug for my, uh... yes, on that. Oh, it's, it's recording. Okay. It's been recording. Well, uh, the soup is done, so... Look at the delicious mushrooms. Yep. Mm. Ooh, it's more of a stew. Mm. So it is hot. Should be careful. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take some of the broth and cool it. Just put your lips together and... No. <laughs> mm. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. A little hot because it's, you know. It's, just, yeah, it just yeah. came out. Well, there you have it, folks. Mm. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment or, you know, whatever under the video, and uh, we do read those when we get them. And uh, see you next time.